In this video, we will differentiate x square by using first principle. So here, the function f of x equals x square. So first of all, let y is equal to f of x. So if there is a small change in x, then there will be a small change in y. Suppose the small change in x is delta x. So we will add delta x in x. So we have f of x plus delta x. So y becomes y plus delta y. Now delta y can be written as f of x plus delta x minus y and here we can put f of x in place of this y. Now we will differentiate this function by first principle and the definition of first principle is the derivative dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 delta y upon delta x. Now we will we can put f of x plus delta x minus f of x in place of this delta y. So we have f of x plus delta x minus f of x upon delta x. Now the function is f of x is equal to x square. So if we put x plus delta x over here, so we will also put x plus delta x in place of this x. So we have x plus delta x whole square minus and in place of f of x we will put x square upon delta x. Now limit delta x tends to 0 then we will uh, expand this bracket by using the algebraic identity a plus b whole square so this will become a x square plus 2 times x times delta x plus delta x square minus x square upon delta x Now we have x square plus 2x delta x plus delta x square minus x square upon delta x. Now x square minus x square is 0. So we have 2x delta x plus delta x square upon delta x. Now we can take delta x common. So we have 2x plus delta x upon delta x. And then we can cancel this delta x. So we have limit delta x tends to 0. 2x plus delta x. Now we apply limit on this function so we will just put the value of uh, value of delta x which is equal to 0 in place of this. So we have 2x plus 0 and 2x plus 0 is 2x. So the derivative of the function f of x is equal to x square is 2x by first principle.